Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how to actually go in and configure your software packages, find and install software in Linux Mint. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your settings. Most of the time your settings is going to be either right here where you have this little up arrow. You can go to settings right here or you can go to the menu you see the little icon right there with the gears? If you highlight it, it says settings. So go to your settings. And down here where it says switch to advanced mode, let's go ahead and click that. Now if you scroll down under the preferences, you'll see one at the bottom that says software sources. Click on that one. It's going to ask for the password. This password is the password that you put in whenever you made the first account when you installed Linux Mint. And then you're going to see this one right here. It's going to come up on the official repositories. This is pretty well standard. Your mirror is going to be the United States one right there with the base. You can change these if you want to. You can change it to whatever one actually comes up best for you. Whenever it finally completes and you have one that stays solid green once it's done, that'll be the one you want to change it to on both the main and base. That's going to help make sure your package speed is a little faster than normal and that you don't have a whole lot of trouble connecting up to get your updates. Ignore PPA, go to the additional repositories. You see this one here where it says archive.getdeb.net. You can click on that one right there and the one that says file user share local repository. If you have a local repository you could select that one as well but it might end up causing you to have a lot of errors whenever you try to do the update for the cache. So we're going to select both of those, hit the update on the cache. If you see a lot of errors, there I might also be one right there that's talking about the uh, local repositories on like the CD drive. And if that disk is not in there, then it's not going to come up and it's not going to update properly. So if you start having a lot of errors, just deselect the one for the local repository. But other than that, it should work all right. And once you get all that, you can come up here and just hit the X button and close it. And we're going to go ahead and close the system settings. Because now we're going after the software. So if you click on your menu, come up here, you'll see this one on the side that kind of looks like a package or a box that's taped up. That's your software manager. If you click on that, it's going to come up asking for that password again. That password is also going to be known as your super user password, so you really need to remember the password to the very first account that you made. That's the one that's going to allow you to do all the settings and stuff on the system. Okay, now that you're in here, um, this right here is all the software. You can click on whatever package. See how it says 29 packages under featured. You can actually select that, and here's the packages that are under it. There's Skype. There's Audacity. There's absolutely a lot of software out there for this. It's kind of just dig through it and see what you can find. You can also find a lot of software on the internet just digging around looking for deb packages. That's what this one uses is the .deb for the Debian or DBN Debian, however you want to say it. A lot of people pronounce them differently. And you can actually uh, install the software that way. Or you can do it this way. You can even search right up here for software. Let's say you prefer the Chromium browser. Most of all Linux versions come with Firefox already pre-installed. Say you don't like that and you prefer Chromium browser. So just type in Chromium up here. There's also a game called that. There's the Chromium game right there. There's the browser. And it also has the FFmpeg codex for that browser. So if you double click on the software that you want to install, you'll notice there's a button here says install you have a line that says not installed you just click on that install button it'll actually download the software right here and then install it while it's downloading I'm going to go ahead and show you if you click on it go to the internet uh, chromium is not under listed under there now let's wait until after it installs okay it is installed now to verify that it has installed we'll click on the menu go back to the internet and look there's chromium web browser now if you want to add that to the desktop, all you have to do is right click and click right there, add to desktop, and now you'll have a desktop icon for Chromium web browser. Okay, now I'm going to go, without changing anything, I'm going to go back to the search results and install the FFmpeg add-on for it. 
and now it has the codec package for most of the video files and stuff where I can actually watch uh, like YouTube and everything else through there that just added a lot of the codecs for that browser so that way the video formats and stuff will play without too much trouble this information is out there for absolutely everybody as always watch like and share have an absolutely great day